In this video, we will do a proof that two sets are equal. So we'll prove that the complement of A intersected with B is equal to A complement union B complement. So we saw in the last video that when we have two sets A and B, A is equal to B. If I want to show that, I need to show that A is a subset of B and that B is a subset of A. So for my problem, I'm going to have to show that the left-hand side is a subset of the right-hand side and this right-hand side is also a subset of the left. So there's two things we'll have to prove. Okay, so I'm first gonna do the forward subset direction. That's what this symbol means, which means I'm gonna show the left-hand side is a subset of the right-hand side. And ordinarily, I would do scratch work first before I dive into the proof, but for the sake of conciseness in the video, I'm gonna dive right into the proof this time. So to show this, we start off by letting x be an arbitrary element of the set, of the first set, which in this case is the complement of A intersected with B. All right, I'm, I want to show, so I'll write WTS, I wanna show that X ends up being an element of the other side of A complement union B complement. That is my end goal. So I'm just writing the wanna show part in, in some scratch work on the side here, but not gonna do the full scratch work. So if X is in this complement, let's break down what that means. So this means, this means X is not, X is not in the intersection. Because if I'm in the complement, it means I'm not in the set that's under the complement, not in the intersection in this case. So I'm gonna rewrite that using some of my logical symbols for, for not and for intersection. Okay, so then that's equivalent to saying that, that is equivalent to saying that it's not the case, that's my symbol for negation, it's not the case, I'll put a big parenthesis, that X is in, and to be in an intersection, it means I'm in both. It's not the case that X is in A and X is in B. So an intersection just means the word and. It's not the case that X is in A and B. So I'm saying that it's not the case that X is in both. So if we use our De Morgan's laws for logic that says if we have an and statement and a negation in front of it, we get to distribute that negation to each part of this. And when we do that, the and changes to an or. So this is the same. So I, what I can say is by De Morgan's, by De Morgan's for logic, this becomes, I put a negation on, oops, sorry, I put a negation, negation on the first part, X is an element of A, we change the and to an or, and then we put a negation on the second part, the X is an element of B. So why is that again? What this is saying is it's not the case that X is in both. And if that's the case, that means either X is not in A or X is not in B. That's logically why that's the case. Okay, well, let's restate this. Well, okay, so this means, this means X is in A complement, because that's what it means if I say it's not the case that X is in A. And then I have the word or, or the second part means, or X could be in B complement. X could be in B complement. But if I have the word or, that means I have a union. So using the definition of a union, this means, so this implies that X is in A complement union B complement. But that's precisely what I wanted to show here. So I've shown that X is an element of the other side. So that shows this subset direction. So the left-hand side, A intersected B complement is indeed a subset of A complement union B complement. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight that. That is one direction of my subset proof. Now I gotta do the other direction. So for the other direction, I'm gonna start off by letting X be an element of the right-hand side. So X will be an element of A complement union B complement. And what I want to show, so I'll write this on the side, I want to show 
that x is an element of the other side. I want to show x is an element. x is an element of a intersected with b, that whole thing complement. Okay. So, all right, let's get back to our proof. I'm letting x be an element of the union. Well, using the definition of union, this means, this means that either x is in the first thing, a complement, or, or x is in the second thing. x is an element of b complement. Well, that gives us two cases to consider. So case one is x, if x is an a complement, I'll have to think about what happens there. And then I'll give myself some room, and then I'll do case two. Case two is going to be, well, what happens if x is in the second part of this? So if x is an element of b complement. So when I have an or statement like this, well, I got to consider each of these possibilities. And that, that's what's giving me these cases to consider. Okay. So what I want to show in both of these is somehow that x is not in the intersection, because I want to show it's in the complement of the intersection. So why would that be happening? Let's, continue, let's do a little bit of scratch work here. If I have a circle for A and a circle for B, case one says I'm not in A, so I'm outside of the circle of A. But if I'm outside of the circle of A, there's no way I can be in the intersection, because to be in the intersection, I got to be in both circles. Okay, so let's state that. So if x is in a complement, if x is in a complement, then what this means is x is not an element of a. And if x is not an a, it follows, it follows that x is not in the intersection, but I have to justify why. Like, it's not enough for me to just say, oh, the picture shows that that's true, because I'm doing a more formal proof here. So x is not in the intersection of a and b, and why is that? Why is that? So it's because since x must be in both a and b, to be in the intersection of A and B. But we already know that X is not in A. So it's got to be in both of them to be in the intersection, but I already know it's not in one of the circles, so it cannot be in the intersection. All right, so nice. So let's just restate this. In other words, in other words, now that I know X is not in the intersection, that's the same thing as saying, well, x is an element of the intersection's complement, which is what I wanted to show. I wanted to show that x will end up being an element of this other side. Okay, so case one is done. All right, case two is, well, what if x was not in the circle for b? Well, by the symmetry, this picture, that should be really similar. So the argument's going to be very, very close. If x is in b complement, that means x is not an element of b. It's going to be outside of the circle for b. Well, then it follows, it follows, it follows that x will not be in the intersection of a and b for the same reason as in case one, same reason as in case one. So I won't restate that. It's the exact same reason. And then let's just restate what this means. X is not in the intersection. In other words, in other words, what that means is X is in the intersection's complement. And that's what I wanted to show. So in both of the cases, we've reached what it is that we wanted to show, which means that completes this subset direction. So thus, I can say that A complement union B complement is indeed a subset of A intersected with B, that whole thing complement. So let me highlight that as well. So now because we've shown both subset directions, I can say, well, therefore, the two sets are equal. So A intersected with B complement does indeed equal A complement 
Union B complement like we wanted. And that completes the proof.